What's up, Jones Bones? It is your girl, United Lee Random. And today, I'm gonna be washing my face. It is, I believe, now I'm not sure, but I believe that it's day five. No, 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 it's day six. Day six, and I'm recording this for the nighttime routine. Now, if you guys don't remember yesterday, I was like, I got a little datey date. Not necessarily a date, but I was going out with a girl that I met at work, right? I'm gonna tell you guys all about what I did today after this intro. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Okay, and we are back. And like, I just wanna go ahead and let y'all know that the girl had some issues with her grandma and she canceled on me, okay? So I did not go on like a little daily date, go out, make friends today, which I think it was disappointing because I was like, oh my gosh, I kind of like, you know, I always say like friends are exhausting. Do you really need them? Do you even want them? You know, friends exhausting, right? But like every once in a while, I guess I want a friend and she seemed like someone that was like very like bubbly and then mind you like something happened in her family so I'm not like oh my gosh like you um you bailed on me or anything I'm not like that at all um something happened with her family but I guess in the past I think that that would have sent me spiraling a little bit so I thought that was interesting um one of the things that comes with ADHD is something that like I didn't know until I grew up and like recently started looking into ADHD because you know have a child with have a couple children with ADHD never learn what the uh, diagnosis comes with but um one of the things is rejection sensitivity um and that's one thing that I learned I had a lot of especially considering how my mom used to always tell me that um, I was going to hell and that I was a devil. So like, <laughs> because of my childhood, I think I'm a little bit more sensitive to rejection and the things that my mom used to tell to me growing up kind of play in the back of my mind. Like, what if she just never wanted to go and hang out with me? And I'm just like, oh, surely no one would lie about their grandmother being sick, right? So I'm just trying to cut that thought off before it even starts, you feel me? But that's what happened. But I had already bought my ticket at that point. And I was like, you know, today's my off day. I want to do something. So I still ended up going to the um, museum. And while I'm washing my face, I'll just go ahead and put the pictures of the museum up on the screen. Okay, so you guys look at that while I do this. And we can talk about um, art, honestly. So I realized I am not really a photograph liking person okay like I like paintings and I like art and I like I like music and I like plays and I find classical literature interesting especially when it's told with a modern twang um but looking at photographs that people take doesn't necessarily feel like art to me and I recognize that it's artistic and stuff like that. I just, it's just over my head. <laughs> it's one of those things that are just over my head. Now, art for like certain purposes, like art for like to uh, arouse you, like that type of thing. I'm like, oh yeah, this is interesting. I mean, I'm subscribed to Trisha's OnlyFan. So, you know, I look at it and I'm like, you know, certain things. Okay, so like her, her videos in which, you know, um, water gunning. She's water gunning. I don't necessarily watch because I'm just like, I mean, how many times am I going to watch someone water gun? You know, like it's not really my cup of tea, but I like that kind of, I like seeing her in her element. So like pictures and everything. And I'm just like, oh, okay. Um, so that's a little tidbit about me. I do uh, subscribe to her OnlyFans. And I just honestly became a member of her YouTube channel. And uh, I'm a little worried about like speaking my opinions on her channel because I do see where people are like, well, you know, she has a lot of yes men around her. Um, I think that there are certain things that are valid questions that everybody kind of avoids bringing up because, you know, they don't want to rock the boat, but I do think that because um, 
let's be real. Because Trisha Paytas very publicly made a statement on multiple different platforms, I believe that she should have also either taken out all of the instances of, not even either, take down all of the instances of her making that statement and then also say, hey, I'm not here to debate with you about that statement, but I am here to say that I did get that the original information wrong, which was saying that someone went to jail for CP, okay? That was the wrong information. And now everybody's just kind of like clinging to that to take away the realness of what happened or what Trisha Paytas is saying has happened to her by that person, right? Um, and it's sad. Um... So that's that's what I, and I don't want to say, hey, you kind of should make a statement about that on her page where she's creating her safe spot and then, you know, get banned off of her thing, especially if I pay twenty five dollars. I want to be there for the entire month. Maybe at, at the end of the month, I'd be like, yo, by the way, you know, huge TP fan. You know, I can see where you're coming from a lot of times, but I do think it would be um, beneficial to just put out a. Um, statement saying, hey, this, you know, I'm not going to debate with you guys about my trauma, but this did happen. And for those who don't know about the Trisha Paytas situation, okay, where have you been? Um, right now, a little bit about it is um, Trisha Paytas um, said that a teacher inappropriately touched her, okay, when she was younger, right? And this other person called Mysterious, she's like a tea shade woman, shade channel. She knows she's doing exposés. She kind of put all the information together and was like, pretty much, it's impossible that that teacher did this. That teacher was such a good person in the neighborhood, which honestly, that means nothing. If someone is a good person to other people, doesn't mean that they still don't do bad things. You know what I'm saying? But um, Mysterious, Mysterioso, I don't know how to pronounce the name, but they were like, yeah, this isn't adding up. And the main thing was, oh, well, TP, Trish Paytas is saying that this person went to jail for CP. CP, you know, you know what CP is. Um, and at the end of the day, that person never really went to jail for CP. So now they're saying because that person never went to jail for CP, your situation in which you say that he inappropriately was touching and whatnot that never happened because this part of your story is not real which i don't i people people honestly at this point that's not a good argument for me none of it is a good argument for me i think only trisha paytas and that teacher knows the truth and one of them is dead, so I think things are just crazy right now. That's what I think. But yeah, that's that's what happening. That's what happening. That's what is happening. I don't water my eye. That's what's happening right now. Um, today is like the sixth. Today isn't the 6th. I'm putting this out October the 6th um, or 5th, depending on what day. It's 6th. October the 6th is when this video is going out. But it should be like the 13th, the 14th of September that I'm recording it right now. So if any new information comes out, you'll be updated along with me. But it'll still be late information. So if you guys have any information, go ahead and text it down below. Um... But yeah, that's what's going on in that prism of my life, you know, following Trisha Paytas and whatnot. And back to going out to this little event. Um, I went with Stu because the girl could not make it. And I thought the art was nice, but it was just not my cup of tea, okay? And I posted about it earlier today. Well, 
I posted about it in the past because y'all getting this in the future. But I posted about it on my Instagram. So if you guys want to stay up to date with me, check out my Instagram, which is Unitedly Random. And it's in the link tree down below. If you ever click on the link tree in my um, bio box, it is in my, my link tree, my Instagram. I have an art Instagram and I have a regular Instagram. You can follow me there to keep up to date with me. But I think on YouTube, I'm going to be pretty much pre-recording and posting on my YouTube channel because I constantly want to put things out. Also, this is a little late to put out, but um, the month of October, I have a lot of things planned that I want to do for the month of October. And, um, and that involves um, you guys. And it involves pretty much a video every single day. And <laughs> I think the video every single day is more so because I plan on washing, posting all of the videos of me washing my face every single day. <laughs> but I have at least one video a day. So I'm about to be spamming you guys if I haven't already. Which by the time you get this, I have already started to spam you guys. You're like, dang, Aaliyah, you disappear for a couple of months, a month or two, and then you come back and you just video after video after video. I'm getting my life together, and I'm feeling better, okay? And that's all it takes sometimes, feeling better and just going. Going, 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 going. My goal before the end of the year is we're at 5,000, I believe, 400 not 400, 5,000 and about 200 and I think 40 subscribers right now and it's like the 14th of September. So by the end of the year, I believe we could get to 8,000 subscribers. <laughs> I laughed because I was like, we're gonna get to 8,000 subscribers and I was like, that's gonna take a lot. That's not gonna necessarily be easy but 8,000 subscribers by the end of the year. That's what we're trying to do, okay? So, 8,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and we're starting the new year off swinging, you know? I got a lot of ideas and whatnot. And I'm already planning for the new year, and it's just, uh, what, what, what time is it right now? It's just, uh, not even October yet, but you know, gotta start manifesting something. If I want to get somewhere, I gotta start manifesting now. You know what I'm saying? Today, my boss contacted me and was like, you planning on taking that COVID shot? For those who don't know, I have yet to take the COVID shot. Stu got both of his. He's good. He's dandy. The reasoning behind not getting the COVID shot is because too many people want me to take it. I don't know. I don't know, I just don't feel like doing it, you know? Um, I think that I'd rather just continue to wear my mask and stay away from people. It's a very good uh, good excuse for not wanting to hang around people. You know, oh my gosh, no. I don't have the COVID vaccine, so I can't go out. Um, but I don't know, I just don't wanna go out too. I wanna chill, I'm done with outdoors. I'm ready for them to put us back on lockdown, honestly. Like, don't even let me out the house for another year. <sighs> I might gain weight though. I mean, I gained a lot of weight. We gonna have to start uh, following a diet journey with me. But I'm all over the place, I'm rambling. I didn't come on here with much in mind to say, and I feel like I got lost in the sauce. So anyway, I want to send you guys much love and positive vibes. Let me know what you guys want to see on my channel. I mean, I'm telling you guys it's already pre-recorded, but you guys can help determine what we do in the following months, in the next year, because this channel is going someplace. I don't know where it's going, but it's going there. Much love and pop. Zitty vibes, and I hope to see you guys next time. Like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Comment if you want.